In the world of discrete manufacturing, you have to deal with a growing demand for new business models, increased costs and competitive pressure. New markets and changing requirements force you to constantly improve your processes to stay on top of the game. Keeping track of these requirements and visualizing the dependencies to other modeling elements is becoming a more and more complex issue. This affects particularly the integrated model-based development of new systems, starting with requirements engineering and management. What if you had a tool that can manage this complexity and acts as a single source of truth along the digital thread? Model-based systems engineering in SAP Enterprise Product Development helps you to manage complex systems across the extended enterprise. Manage your customers' needs coming from the end-user feedback. Create and manage system architectures and behavior based on the standard modeling language, SysML. Define and visualize use cases and how they are linked to each other. Organize your requirements in a requirements model, and more. With SAP you can save time for innovations by developing products based on models instead of documents. Reduce life cycle costs by managing and increasing product complexity with modeling capabilities and exploit new potentials across the entire product life cycle by collaborating with customers and partners on requirements. Let's see how you navigate the requirement model using the example of an electric scooter. From the Fiori launch pad, you enter the requirements management and systems modeling app. On the home screen for requirement management, select the package diagram for the e-scooter model. Here you see the different models that were created. These models describe the requirements as well as the logical architecture of the product. From the package diagram, open the use case diagrams. These diagrams describe how to operate and drive the scooter and how they are linked with each other. Now back to the package diagram, you open a requirements model for the e-scooter. Here you see all the defined requirements for our scooter. On the right side, you can see the descriptions and details of the individual requirements. You can also search for a certain requirement. Here, let's find the requirement for the range. Enter 100 because there is a requirement of our e-scooter to have a range of 100 kilometers with a standard battery. From here you can start the impact and lineage analysis. In the impact analysis diagram you see the requirement for the range in the green box. On the left, we can see the need coming from the requirement acquisition process. This is the manage needs window. A need may be defined based on the feedback from a Qualtrics survey that was sent to end users to collect feedback and ideas for improvements. Users enter their feedback into a questionnaire that is automatically fed into our feedback management. Here you see that several users requested to extend the range of the e-scooter. Based on this feedback, you identify a need and create a requirement model. From the impact analysis diagram, you can also jump to the test cases that are linked to this requirement. In test case management, you define suitable test cases to ensure that the product will meet the requirement. You can view descriptions and details of how the product is to be tested with parameters. You can also see that this test case is linked to requirements or versions of requirements. This test case, for example, is valid for version 7 and 8 of this requirement. From test cases you can jump to a test plan. A test plan can be executed in one or several sessions and the results of the tests are recorded. This ensures that the requirements are fulfilled. This requirement is linked to blocks like functions and also to S4HANA objects like a document info record and bill of material. You can also expand it further. The system always opens three levels. If you go down further, you can see functions and logical objects and the respective S4HANA objects can be linked to it. You can also jump to the block definition diagram that shows the logical breakdown of the product. This is the logical breakdown of the e-scooter. You see the battery system, the braking system, and more. From here, you can jump to further diagrams that are also shown on this impact analysis diagram. Moreover, you can see how the diagrams are linked. You also see how logical objects are implemented in the subsequent detailed design phase. From here you can go to the S4 HANA system and call up an example of a bomb that is linked to it. Save time for innovations. Reduce life cycle costs. And exploit new potentials.
SAP Enterprise Product Development ensures a seamless end-to-end -end digital thread of your product data across your products or assets lifecycle.